Yo, hey, hey, everybody, Subjack here. Today we're gonna do some stuff, because that's what I do is stuff. But it is a work day, so I'm working right now, but it is lunchtime, and, but I need to go get something to eat. But before I can do that, I gotta kind of clean off the car. Uh, it snowed on us today, so that's what I'm going to do. That's one of those things that falls in the category of stuff. So, <laughs> let me get to that. Okay, I'm going to try to get to the little store up the road here. The mail lady that I just talked to told me that there's cop cars blocking off roads. I think they're getting uh, a little tyrannical about the whole thing. You know, people can drive and just, it's just a little more slippery. You just got to be careful. But anyways, I'll see if I can get up there and get something for lunch. If not, I'll be picking out of the, the storage that I don't really want to pick out of right now. Anyways, let's get this going. So far so good uh, we'll see when we kind of get on these these hilltops and little little valleys and stuff but so far so good got people stuck other people can't can't get to what they're trying to do oh there's a guy down there throwing salt trying to help people out I don't know that that's gonna work well that's nice of them awful neighborly of them Trying to throw salt or rock or something, looks like. I'm not sure what he's throwing out here. Let's go and see if he can get some traction, get up the hill. If he slides enough, he'll get. If he slides enough, he'll burn up the snow on it. He's gonna get it. He's gonna try. I'm gonna try to give him some room. Might be best for me. Let's see if we can't go out and give a hand. Some of this stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna turn the camera off, see if I can't go help push or something. Alright, we got him out of the way. I, I moved my car from there and backed it up over here. Then I went down and helped him push it out of the way. I didn't want to take time to try to set the camera up to watch that, so that's how that went. But the thing it is, as soon as I get down there, I gotta try to come back. So hopefully that guy's still out there helping. <laughs> Here we go. All right, made it here to the to the store without any incident. Fairly quick. Um, snow still come down as you can see. Not a whole lot of people here. Some poor guy's laying out there underneath his car. I don't know what's up with that. Bad time to be doing that. There's a person who's got the rig. Should be able to go wherever they need to go. All right, well, I'm gonna go in and get stuff and then I'll be back out. Well, I got the food. I'm gonna head back to the house. Let's see if I can get back and get back up that little hill. That's gonna be, that's gonna be something else. Well, let's see what I can do. So I think I'll leave the camera running just in case something exciting happens. Here we go, in the snow. Not a lot of cars out now. Uh, they come by and ran a shovel on the road right here so it's easier to get up. I'm just concerned about when I turn back onto my main road. One of the things that I do not like about driving in the snow is the other drivers. 
what I mean by that is when you gotta go slow and you're worried about stuff sliding around you really need to be far away from other drivers but I'll notice that other drivers they'll see you going along just fine and they'll feel safe and then they creep up on you and next thing you know if you got to come to a sudden stop they don't have time okay I'm coming up here let's see if this works hopefully there's nobody else in the road and I can just go with the momentum just make it work oh dude don't walk in front of me now he walks in front of me <laughs> well here we go this is kind of the bad spot it's working it's working not a problem for this little front wheel drive of course that guy that was stuck here he had he had front wheel drive but he had really slick tires well anyways I made it so now I'm gonna get to the house and have some lunch Okay, we're gonna start this project now, which is just taking the uh, vinyl out of the bathroom upstairs. And uh, of course the, the the kickboard around the edges and starting to get a feel for what's underneath there, if I'm gonna have to level that any. And uh, of course the toilet will come out. I may wait till in the morning to take that out just because I think I'd like to have the toilet up there for the night. So let's get some tools and get started. Razor knife, second razor knife, knee pads, crowbar, smaller crowbar. Okay, is there anything else that I need? Uh, I probably will figure that out when I get back upstairs. I'm gonna wear the hard hat with the, the uh, contour on it so we can get some good footage looking down on what I'm doing. Just like this. Thank God for knee pads. Try to do that with the least amount of damage as possible, but uh, sometimes it just happens. Well, all right, the uh, piece of baseboard behind the toilet is gonna have to kind of wait <laughs> uh, until I take the toilet out. See what I mean? It's kind of stuck there. Well, but anyways. Let's start pulling on some vinyl up. Alright, well the floor looks pretty solid. I mean, it's not bouncing or moving around. It's such a small space that I don't think I'm going to even need to run any screws down to hold it solid or a uh, dense board on it, any kind of a, the concrete type of stuff. Just seal it and then uh, put the tile in. Uh, I will probably have a consult with somebody at Home Depot or Lowe's first, just to make sure, but I'm kind of thinking that's the way this is gonna go. Like I say, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to pull that toilet out of there, because it might be useful this evening, but once it's out, I won't be able to use this bathroom until we get it done, and that, that might still be a while. Okay, so the camera just shut off as I was talking. What was I talking about? I was talking about, I forgot. I had to go change the battery and I forgot. Must be getting old. Anyways, let's get on with the next thing. I'm not sure what that is yet. Well, okay, so I got the, the uh, vinyl pulled out of there. I got the siding, or the, the uh, kickboard off. And, uh, except for from behind the toilet. We saw a spot there underneath the toilet where it looks like it might have leaked a little bit. And, and then it stopped with that wax ring under there. The only thing I can imagine happened is the uh, boy before he moved out did something strange up there, tweaked that toilet. A little bit of 
something come out and he set it back down real quick and saw it stopped and he was happy and didn't say anything which sounds like something a young male might do when they screw something up and they don't want nobody to know <laughs> but nonetheless I'm gonna pull it out of there I'll take that little chunk up and put in some clean stuff to make sure that we have uh, a nice quality house when we go to put it on the market uh, it doesn't look like I'm gonna need to put any of that dense board under it uh, but I will need to seal it I might sand it down a little bit. there's a lot of paint on there so we'll get that cleaned up put some sealer on there so that the wood doesn't uh, soak up soak the water out of the uh, the glue I need to go to Home Depot that's where I got the, the tile at so I want to go to them and talk about a transition between that tile I'm, I'm looking over at the tile in the corner if you wonder what I'm looking at I'm not going to Home Depot today because it's a crazy snow day Check it out. Up, hey, what are you doing? Building yourself another one? Yeah, man. We're going to have to make this a, a YouTube project. <laughs> I wonder if that was you over there or not. Yeah, I've been trying. Like I said, she comes out for a minute. Hey everybody, meet Beanie, best neighbor in the world. Oh, thanks, Greg. Appreciate that. <laughs> so he's the one who tore down the house by the the the, the church playhouse. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> I actually got scared watching the video too. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize how close that was to the air conditioner. Yeah. When yeah, when you saw that video, you realized how close that sucker came. Yeah, so I, the snow's great though, man. It's so wet and it packs awesome. Like, yeah. Golly. Yeah. So I'm hoping. I've been trying to tell Stoss, man, if we can get out here and get this done, man, if it freezes tonight, that thing will be golden for like a week. Yeah. At least. It's not very round. <laughs> but yeah, it will. The snow is awesome, though. Like I say, it kind of yeah. sucks for sledding, I bet. But uh, as far as like snowballs and yeah. stuff together, it's not too awful bad at all. Blows me away on how uh, much it's done this year. So oh, far. it's a lot. Work called this morning. Said, "Hey, man, forget don't come it. In. Yeah, <laughs> all right, no problem." Well, I was just upstairs pulling the linoleum out of the bathroom because I'm gonna put tile in it, and the same tile I've got for the living room or for the kitchen. So you got plenty of grout and stuff? Uh, not yet. Yeah, I got I got more like uh, what do you call that? The shit you put down for the tile to stick to. What's that called? I got a lot of it left from when I did our kitchen. Do you mix it? with water yeah yeah, it is. yeah well we might have to buy that off of you i'll just give it to you man well there you go see <laughs> well, best, I, best neighbor in the world huh he does me plenty of favors so I, <laughs> it's okay to pay it back i'll tell you <laughs> yeah i mean i'll never use it i got a bunch of tile left too that i never i don't know if that shell probably stick it somewhere but what, what do you got you got the smaller tile. i got those big 18 by 18 inch pieces i got some left from what i did in the kitchen and those are the big 12. I think I don't know. I think they're they might be 18 inch. They're pretty big. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they're big as the ones I got. And then I got small ones left. But I don't have many of the big ones. I'd be, be lucky if I had enough to do a bathroom maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Well the mine are so big you'd probably take about two of those just to do the bathroom. Oh <laughs> yeah. The vinyl, vinyl and stuff. All right, everybody, that was fun and cold, but I still got lots to do. I'm probably gonna call it a day today and uh, start bright and early tomorrow. Hopefully I'll actually be able to drive over to Lowe's or Home Depot and have a conversation and pick up some needed stuff and get to work, hopefully. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, come back and uh, you know subscribe, come back and watch me do stuff, because I do stuff. Try to do it as often as I can and let you see it just because that's what I like to do. But I do appreciate it when you come by and watch. Thanks a lot everybody, this is Subtech. I will talk to you later. Bye bye. Now this is a cement mixer. I haven't put it together yet. So instead I'm just going to put it on top of the cement. <laughs> it was heavy too. This old man still seemed to get it up there. So now it's time to blow a little dust off these windows.
Now it's time to do a little sweeping. After I move some